Hi, my name is Siti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. Now many schools are at the end of the school year or are preparing for a new school year and so we're going to jump into Google Classroom and I'm going to show you how to archive classes and why you may choose to archive. Let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now here on my Google Classroom, I have two active classes. Now active classes means that students can go in, they can comment, they can view everything, but it's the end of the school year and I no longer want them to have access to these classrooms. In other words, I want to stop the discussions and I want to stop the communication that is happening within this classroom because I will no longer be monitoring it. So let's go ahead and open up one of these classes. Now here I have a demo class online learning. You can see that here, demo class online learning 1920. There is a single assignment and apart from that, there is not much to see in this classroom. We're going to go back to our overview of classes. We also have the demo class two online learning and this one has a little bit more. You can see three assignments here and this is the classroom that we're going to archive. I want to reuse these lessons. I want to reuse these assignments, but I don't want this classroom to remain open. And by archiving this, I don't lose access. So let's go ahead and click on those three dots and let's select archive. Now we will get a notification and this is a little warning to tell you as soon as you've archived this class, they can no longer be updated. Now this will move into a separate tab and so you can always still access this class, but you can't really interact with the contents. So let's go ahead and archive this. It is gone from our main page and we can start setting up our page for the following school year. Now in the left hand corner, we have a separate tab that says archived classes and we can still find our class here. We can go in and we can see all the assignments and lessons from this classroom, but you see that notification that it's archived. We cannot interact with the content. Now let's go to our active class. So we still have this one active class and now let's try to reuse a post from one of my archived classes. Well, we can do that. Now here I can reuse a post, but I want to reuse an assignment. So let's go ahead and go to class work. And let's click on that big create button. Now I'm going to reuse a post. This is going to pull up all my classrooms, including those archived classes. So let's go ahead and go to the previous. And now we can see I have two archived classes and I have my own class. Now I'm going to select the one we've just archived together and we can dive in and select any of these three assignments. I'm going to select the assignment for weekly lessons, click on reuse, and what's going to happen now is that we're going to have to tweak and edit everything. We can add our own attachments for this reused post, and thus we don't have to reuse the exact same documents every single time. However, reusing does save us a lot of time when it comes to setting up the information, adding documents, links, and everything else. Now for even more tips and tricks on Google Classroom, click on the playlist at the top or watch the suggested video down below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.